you've you've been on high speed trains before, right? In, I have in Europe, high speed yes, rail. Several times, several years actually in a row. And uh, and where? Which countries? Uh, in France, in Belgium, and in Germany. All right, and how how were they? Amazing, amazing. Um, for example, in France, you I went from last year. I went from Paris to Bordeaux, which is typically a seven to eight hour drive right. in about three hours. Wow, that's that's incredible, really. Yeah, and and you go from the city center to the city center, so that you don't have to, you don't necessarily need to rent a car. Right. Or well, you're not going to... on the airport that's outside of the Correct. city. Correct. In fact, um, one of the things, and I do not recommend doing this. However, it happened to me, for better or worse. Um, I arrived on the way back to Paris. I was arriving just in time. And with the train system, what's great is that if you get there just in time, your likelihood of getting on is still pretty good. Whereas if you're just in time at the airport, yeah, that's, they, close, that's pretty much it. they close it out and you're kind of like, you know, you're stuck. I think here in Florida, there's been a lot of talk about, and I don't know why we haven't done it yet, the bullet train between Orlando and Miami. I mean, if we can go, if you imagine if right now we can hop on a train and be in Orlando in an hour, hour and a half, instead of the three hours or four hours, however long it takes. Much. Um, I don't know if, if it's possible to do one to Key West. Uh, that would probably require something elevated because it's over water. But to Orlando to Tampa, you know, um, to, to connect the, the three, you know, kind of, you know, those places down here, that'd be awesome. Right. Um, I think people would use it. I would use it. I mean, because I have friends in Orlando. Recording it. Now it's oh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Dude, you're terrible.